Ola from Centro Historico, home to one of the biggest Easter celebrations in all the world. The week leading up to Easter Sunday is known as Semana Santa, or Holy Week. I'm going to highlight two days in particular, Thursday and Friday. I'm going to introduce you to some of the people, places, and traditions that make Ecuador quite fascinating this time of year. This street right here is called Calle de las Siete Cruces, or Street of the Seven Crosses. There's a lot of church history here. It's also the road where many of the churches are located. Thursday night, many if not all of those churches open up those doors for visitors to come in and take a look at the various decorations for Easter. It should come as no surprise that most if not all the churches along this stretch are Catholic. Nine out of ten Ecuadorians consider themselves to be Roman Catholic. The Spanish conquistadors brought the religion to the country in the 16th century. Shortly after, some of the first churches started to be built in the 1500s. On Holy Thursday, there's a parade that goes from one church to another. This procession of lights has people carrying candles, some dressed as well-known characters in the Catholic world. One of the most popular Easter traditions here in Ecuador is a dish called finesca. It's quite an involved process and is typically made during the Lenten season. Finesca is a soup. It has 12 grains and those kind of represent the 12 disciples. Um, it's a long process. Uh, you need a lot of people to do it because you have to peel them, wash them. How many hours would you say? Oh goodness. I would say at least four or five. As the finesca was being cooked, our class headed back down to Centro Historico for the biggest event of Holy Week. It's the Jesus of Grand Power Procession. It's a parade that attracts hundreds of thousands of people. It's to commemorate Jesus' final moments on earth and it's unlike anything I've ever seen before. Most of the parade participants are called cucuruchos, a Spanish word to describe the headwear that covers their faces. The cone shape is said to be a sign of humility, the purple for penitence. And others display their repentance in more extreme ways. Many walk barefoot, some with chains, some carrying heavy crosses. Others hit themselves on the back with something that causes the skin to boil. It's common for those walking to hold something like a picture of Jesus or his mother Mary, but not all things resembled something holy Friday. Bringing up the rear in the parade is a statue of Jesus, heavily guarded and pushed by police. The parade ends where it begins at Quito's oldest church. The good news is that on that Friday many thousand years ago, the story didn't end. Three days later, he rose from the dead and he's still alive and with us today. And that is reason, not just to celebrate this Easter, but to celebrate every day.